Hey guys, what's up? So today I figured I would just do a super quick video, hopefully it's quick, on how I wax my stash. There's no other way of putting it. I remember a long time ago, I got a lot of comments saying, can you show how you wax yourself? Because I said I personally do it on my own self. I do, I only wax my mustache. I don't do my eyebrows because there's like nothing there if I do it's just like on the top portion My eyebrow hairs are just they don't grow so I, all I do is just like tweeze underneath But I do wax my stash. I'm going to a wedding so I figured I wouldn't go as a bearded lady so I use the Sally Hansen hair wax remover or hair remover wax strip kit also I'm not a professional. I don't know all like the correct things. I just use this because this is yeah, so if I did anything incorrectly or I offended anybody by the way how I wax my stash, I apologize. This is the one I've always been using. I've tried other ones like NADS. I remember seeing all these NADS commercials where it's like, you can even eat it. It tastes like honey. Well, I didn't eat it, but like I tried it out and it didn't really work. It didn't just like rip it off. Uh, I don't grow like a ton of hairs, so let me see if I could like show you what I'm working with. Work it! Okay, now that you guys are up close and personal. Oh, my lips look so chapped. That's not cute, but whatever if you guys can see these are the hairs that I have it doesn't grow like super thick But oh, I just gleaked. I don't think my camera caught that, but I do have hairs Right here. I call them my whiskers. So yeah today I'm going to show you how I remove my whiskers. This is like the one area that I do not like um, It's I'm just like so sensitive no matter how many times I do it so, oh good, I still have some left so in the pack it comes with like different sizes of the wax as you can see and usually I'll just like cut it off because I'll just make it like into a wax strip like this which is this is meant for like eyebrows and you know stashes but if I run out of these ones because they only give you so many then I just cut these ones up since I have this this is perfect so what I do is I get the strip and I start warming it up in between my hands so I'm just kind of like karate chopping it and then just warming it up and that's just gonna warm up the wax so it adheres to your hairs now I do this for quite a bit just to make sure it's really nice and warm and then even though this is one strip meant for like your eyebrows or anything like that, I like to still take scissors, these are small scissors, and I cut it in half and then I just take it apart like this. Uh, well sometimes if I take too long like I'll still kind of warm it up like that in between the little small strip just to make sure it's nice and warm and it really sticks. And then when you, you know it's really, you know it's warm enough when you pull it apart and then you don't hear <laughs> Because then that means it's still too cold. But if you hear it like this, it's still okay. It's like you could see it. It's it's good to go. It's ready. Since my hairs are going down this way, I'm going to place it right here. And I just start on one section. Oh, you guys, I hate this part. I don't like saying the word hate. I dislike this part a lot. Good to go. Now, this is the scary part. Like, you have to hold your skin, like, taut. And then just rip it. See? Ooh, yeah. Take my other one and do the other side. And I just start stroking it down right there. Because you still want it warm. Just hold your skin taut and just rip it. <clears throat> yeah, I got it. You do miss, like, I miss, like, maybe two or three. So with that, I'll just take tweezers and just go boop. So now I'm just going to take the other side of the strip that I didn't pull apart and then I warm it all over again because like I said, the main thing, the important thing is to make sure it's nice and warm. So with the center, what I'll usually do is, I shouldn't have pulled it apart, but sometimes I do, I'll just cut a little off and then I'll just rip it off just so it's not as long because I'm just doing the center are growing down this way. I just place it right here and then go down. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing a video on this. Make sure you're not on your lip because that's really going to hurt. And then hold it down. Oh! You just have to be brave when you do this. Mm, I got them all. One thing you need to know is if, in case you miss a section, don't keep going over and over and over it because then that's going to irritate the crap out of your skin. It's going to hurt. And yeah, that's not good. So let me show you my results. Hopefully you could see them earlier. But so now I got a lot of it. I still have like a couple that I'll just like tweeze out. And then I just take makeup remover, like the Neutrogena oil free one. Comes with this solution, you can just put it on a Q-tip or a cotton little round and then you just wipe your lip and it takes away all the residual wax. I got most of it, I just have a couple. That's how I wax.
wax my stash and that's pretty much it I don't really do anything special you just have to be brave when you taut your skin uh, sometimes I know people who actually have other people off their skin and they'll have someone in their house just do it personally I just like to be in control of my skin I'd be really scared if someone else did it who isn't like a professional or used to doing it all the time so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to remove that stash and I basically just do the same exact thing onto my eyebrow I'll just go like this warm it up and I'll actually take like half of it again and then just go and then I'll do once here and then once here and once here so this is the one that I really like it just really clings onto the hair and just takes it off you just have to be brave I'll see you guys in my next video and happy removing that stash and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe because it is a free 90 Nine. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. I will link all 50 down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Whoop whoop!